What is up everybody, Eric here from Soundcast Studios. Today we are testing out the Hitmaker 4000 console color. So this color module is a little interesting in the way that it has a couple of adjustable parameters on it. So you can adjust the total harmonic distortion from rich to fat, which changes the way the saturation works on the module. You can also adjust an AK shelf boost, which I left off for all these tests. I'm not entirely sure how I would test the AK shelf. I could maybe run a mix where I'm running it on certain tracks because if I add it on all the tracks, I'll just end up getting a really bright mix. So let me know if you have any ideas in the comments about that. So I ran some raw tracks to the color module using both the rich and the fat setting. First, I'll play the tracks with no color, then with 25% rich, 25% fat, then again with no color, then with the rich at 50%, and the fat at 50% so that you can slowly see the gradual adding of saturation throughout the test. So let's get to it. I actually really like this color module for the versatility that you get by being able to switch the way the saturation works. So with the fat setting, I really did feel like it was adding some low end weight to the mix. At 50%, 75% on both of these is too much, but I had to do it just so you can see how it sounds being pushed. But the fat at 50% adds this low end weight that I really liked. The rich, to me, smooths out the top end, which I didn't like on the entire mix. I didn't like how it affected the snare. I feel like it lost a little bit of the transients, but on the vocals, it sounds really nice. So being able to switch between both settings makes it really versatile. You could probably use the fat setting on a kick drum or a snare, keep the transients, use the rich setting on a vocal or a guitars. You really, the possibilities are endless. And I really like that I have the option to choose how I want the saturation to sound. I'm going to be leaving the WAV files to every single test that I did, so you can download it, import it into your DAW, 
and hear for yourself the differences. So that's going to be the end of this video. In the comment section below, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you thought I could have done better. And I'll see you guys in the next video.